So these are people giving out lots of palliatives in the in this period and we are really grateful because we're going to try to do this as often as possible mm -hmm. to celebrate Nigerians who are doing great things. Just give them a few minutes to mention their names, to let them know that we just to encourage them because mm -hmm. listen, it's not easy at this time to give of yourself and of who you are and to, 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 to others. So the first person we'll be celebrating today or recognizing is Mrs. Toyosi Akereli Ogunshiji, who is part of the Victim Support Fund, that's VSF. They donated 100 million naira worth of food mm. and drugs to Taraba. I know she did call me at the time when she started looking for uh, certain products at the time. So I knew, um, and she's, always, she's really hands-on. Mm -hmm. So she's quite passionate about this. And she's been all over the country. They've been to Gombe State, Taraba, How quite a lot of Taraba? in the Naba, in the northern <laughs> area, area. And the focus was to help the IDPs especially mm. yes. during this period. Mm. I mean, did you see any of her pictures online or? Right. We have a lot of pictures. Yes. I, I, I am happy with what... It seemed like COVID-19 is just bringing people together. Right. People are thinking more about what can I do to help people around me. Mm -hmm. We're seeing people show love genuinely from their heart that we right. really do not see, see most of the time. Mm -hmm. And I just feel that after COVID, post COVID-19, it should not stop. We should always have a way of looking out for one another, helping each other go through whatever crisis it is. And people are asking, people have been sending me messages that your view, when are you people going to do your own palliative? I say, auntie, we are doing the little we can. Everybody if you know to the kind of messages I receive on a daily basis, if I you know what lifts me, yeah. trust me, yeah. on a daily basis. I, we all do ours, but yeah. because I, we, we, um, we've not done it together because mm -hmm. um, together is, is company. The yes. company has policies, you yeah. know, because of the issues. So we're also being careful. Now, if we had our individual things, maybe we could have. But um, together means that um, the company is going to be involved. And then there's also issues of, yeah, around that. But however, I think individually, we're all doing yeah. certain yeah. things in different yeah. places. We're giving our food. We're giving our funds. We're helping people across in different places. Just I like don't have heat. anybody taking pictures for me. No, know, we don't even want pictures. Yeah, I don't even want pictures or yeah. anything. So another person <laughs> we'd like to celebrate today is Koku Foundation. Uh, they've been doing a lot of stuff. Um, um, they've been giving out gifts cash food items to people in Lagos State. I mean, I follow, for, right? I, I follow, I think so. I follow Koko on familiar. Instagram and they've actually been doing quite a bit. Now he's, I think his foundation have been doing this for many years. For I many mean, years. So it's a, yeah, it's, it's, also, it's not new to him. Yeah. So it was almost like it was, it was, it was um, easy for him to put it together and then so distribute food it not, items. It may not be easy, but I've followed him for a while on social media and he has reached so many lives. Yeah. So yeah. thank you to this. When I said easy, man. I meant that, and it wasn't. It wasn't a hard sell for him to start because yes. many people are still thinking of how they do it. He has a foundation, has a foundation to work and, the, and, the, and, the, and the framework of how they do yeah. it. But it's been a, doing a good job for for a long time. Another person would like to also celebrate. I think it's Yin Kafani, the Yin Fani Foundation. They've also been seen distributing food and other relief materials to the less privileged in the society. Um, so the Yin Kafani Foundation have been doing that too. Um, it's just that a lot of these things. Uh, these giveaways don't always do the social distancing. However, regardless, <laughs> At least we have to give out this food, food to people. You know, my Lifestyle with ML program that I do, a group of ladies have actually decided that they would like to give something back, you know. And this is for those of us within that group. Okay. It just shows you, as you were saying, you know, it's bringing out a, we're now celebrating virtues like kindness, yes. looking out for each other. Before it was how you, you know, how you peppered them to pepper them. <laughs> but now we're wondering, you know, we're measuring you There's by no your pepper, kindness, pepper you know, by your sensitivity to what is happening. And we thank well, people you people have been worried that, listen, how much, because a lot of people that, um, I think it was Tui, I'm Abraham, that was saying that this time five years, she couldn't have done this yeah. because of her funds, you yeah. know. Hmm. People are struggling. People you know, are, you see them yes. and you think that they have, people but it's true that they don't. Even but she's saying that now, it's five years after, yeah. where she's at a place she's where she can, can give. Help. So when you see that, because I think as a celebrity that was complaining that people were saying, how can you be saying that we are not giving? Some people just don't have it. They don't have it. You'd assume they do because they do all the bling bling. They look, yeah. but, but there is all, trust me, it's mm -hmm. all for the cameras. Yeah. I, I think this is the time that we need to put our heads down to un understand that because you're on TV doesn't necessarily mean you have. Mm. We've lived fake lives for a very long time where you're posing with cars that are not yours, <laughs> flying private jets that are not yours. The chips are down now. We now know those who have and those. Keep yourself. Those just humble. No, humble yourself <laughs> so that people don't expect too much. We're getting a lot of messages because we're on TV, because people are expecting, because you're on TV, you must have. Mm. You are eating. Mm. Is the expectation that we have Talking to put about on that, ourselves. In my house, mm. I mean, my husband, my husband is a health buff, so he likes us to eat healthy. But at the same time, I, I'm, I'm, trying, I'm thinking of having conversation. Like, listen, okay, we do all this. I want to eat goat meat, chicken. I'm like, bro, this thing eh? 
we are coming down because the, the truth is we don't know what's ahead. Yes. We are here talking. We don't know what's going to happen At next all. few months. We don't know what's going to happen to Joe. We People are talking about start raising cuts. chicken. Mm. So. Start raising so it's either you raise your chickens or you just go and start buying yeah. frozen fish or something. Just, mm. I mean, you scale down. Yes, so I mean, I'm, I'm looking at my purse this month. Everybody. I, what I do every month, I budget. I, have, I know exactly how much I spend for house, house food. But now this month, after the show today, I'm going to sit down again and recalculate and everything. Everything, all this, I can't flex. All this one, I will start reducing some things. Because mm. my kids, I told my kids the other day, ah, mommy, they're looking for snacks. Okay, well, yeah, snacks are great, but we're going to reduce this snack thing. Yeah. We're going to pick one snack. They should eat food. You know, we have all sort of crash today. Mm. You have nuts, we have this. Uh -uh. Pringles. Uh -huh. <laughs> we just, so, because not, not that we don't have, but we mm. must save, we yes. must conserve. Yes. This is a preserve time, time what we have. Prudent, yeah. We have to be extremely prudent because you don't know what's going to happen. We don't all. even know if we're going to we're going to go going home. We have to be very careful. Mm. So the same thing across board. Don't assume people just have. Mm. Keep what you have. Give if you have the extra. But if you don't, conserve. Abuse. Preserve, preserve what you conserve. have with mm. you. Um, uh, so I think on that note, we can actually. And is there any last words for? Just to thank people generally. Just thank people, yes. Thank and because so today is also Workers' Work Day, day yeah. to, uh, we need to also re-acknowledge, as we always do, the health workers. So we've been corrected. It's not just nurses and doctors. We have people in the labs also who are faced daily with non these samples. Stuff, yeah. So we thank you so much for giving of your time, your effort, of your personal security to make sure that we're doing well. Thank you and God bless you and may God take care of your families as right. well. <laughs> and for my mom is on that table. <laughs> <laughs> and for the companies that are still paying salaries, yeah, well God done. Bless you. Yeah, it's not easy, you. trust me. I mean, when I, after I, I um, had that webinar yesterday, I kind of knew what CEOs were going through. It's a lot. Many of them are thinking of what do I do? So Can I function sleeping. without this number of people? I've, I've been very generous to hire 50 mm. people. Mm -hmm. do now, I need now do I need 50 many. people? You know, that's what the Access Bank was saying, that yeah, now so. do I need all these tellers? So these are real conversations we're going to have. So maybe next week we'll bring in a guest to give us some more perspective into this. So it's not just one bank or different companies. Let us see what CEOs, since we're starting to work on Monday, yeah. what their thoughts will be on how to go ahead. But we're going to go on a break. Now we come back, we'll delve into our hot topics. Stay with us. We'll be right back. <laughs>